Hello there my fellow fans, today's news. The choice of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle for a humanitarian prize has been blasted by a royal expert who has accused the couple of pursuing vengeance against the royal family. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are set to receive the Robert F. Kennedy Ripple of Hope Award handed to exemplary leaders of social change alongside Ukraine President Vladimir Zelensky. The glittering gala ceremony takes place on December 6th in New York City, with the Sussexes said to be included in honours after taking a stand on structural racism within the royal family. But royal commentator Kingsley Schofield has joined voices criticising the choice of the candidate. Ms Schofield said, When I think of humanitarians, I think of Princess Diana walking through a minefield, Doctors Without Borders, or Elizabeth Taylor co-founding the Foundation for AIDS Research. Not a woman that releases a weekly podcast, vaguely complaining about a word used to describe her four years ago. We visually see and hear very little about Harry and Meghan contributing to anything but their pursuit of vengeance against the monarchy. The decision to honour Harry and Meghan was described as bewildering by RFK son Robert F. Kennedy Jr., who is not involved in selecting laureates and has a track record for criticising them. Explaining the decision, his sister, Kerry Kennedy, said the Sussexes had been heroic in standing up against the royal institution. In March 2021, the couple sat down with Oprah Winfrey in their home state of California, making a series of bombshell claims against the firm shortly after stepping down as senior working royals. During the interview, Meghan claimed a member of the institution had discussed what Archie's skin tone may have been before his birth, and also described struggles with her mental health. Meghan has also previously described herself as the most trolled person on the internet. Speaking in a 2020 podcast appearance this year, the mother of two launched her own podcast, Archetypes, on Spotify. It aims to investigate, dissect, and subvert the labels that try to hold women back. Thank you guys for watching today's news. Please do like, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye for now.